Well, joining us now for this edition of ISU Friday are Sasha Ken, a sophomore from Richfield, and sophomore Dylan Rafai. He's a sophomore from Boise, and today we're going to be talking cross country. Uh, you guys will be at Montana State this weekend, but before we get to that, how did you even get started running cross, cross country? Um, well, I started in uh, high school. I was originally a swimmer. I decided to take uh, one season off and give running a try, and it went really good, so it just progressed from there. All right, and Sasha, how did you get going? My dad just came up to me and was like, hey, I signed you up for cross country. And I was like, what? <laughs> just forced into it. I'm doing volleyball, Dad. I'm not doing cross country. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Thought I'd be good at it, so. And just kind of took stuck, that and. Stuck around and kept working at it. And I eventually liked it once I got in a little better shape. <laughs> okay, so those first few uh, practices and meets were probably a, a little rough for you. A then. lot of side aches. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, training for cross country, everyone knows it's a lot of running. How do you get prepped for a meet? Uh, prep for a meet? Uh, well, basically, on average, for me, since I'm a sophomore, I'm running around 70 miles per week on average. Okay. Um, that's like the basis for what year I am. Um, and then throughout the season, we cut down our mileage and taper for the end of the season so we have faster races. So kind of save the body a little bit for that. Exactly. The season. Yeah. Uh, in that, you know, 70 miles, are you are you running a lot of that all at once? Or are you guys breaking it up into chunks, or how does that work? Well, for girls, we run less than the boys because the races are longer and they're boys too. But um, <laughs> right now, I've, I've been running like 40 in cross training, and yeah, we break it up and we do a couple workouts, and then we have easy days, and it's just kind of like knowing your body. And right now, I've been cross training too, just to prevent injury. When you say cross training, what other uh, exercises, what other type of things are you doing? Um, I've been doing elliptical and biking. Some people swim, but I'm a really bad swimmer, okay. so I don't swim to cross train, but I've been doing elliptical and bike work, so. Okay. So let's talk Montana State this weekend up in Bozeman. Uh, what does that course bring to the table, and uh, how is that different from, you know, running at home? Um, the course I heard is, uh, I haven't been there yet, but it's a flat grassy course. Um, it's where conference is going to be this year. So there's going to be a lot of teams from uh, our conference and a few others as well um, just to have a good race. So, so kind of scoping out the, the big sky competition. Exactly, I yes. What I guess is the difference between, you know, when you're running on a grass surface versus running on dirt? I mean, when you transition from different surfaces to surfaces, how do you, how do you change your stride? How do you change things up? Um, I really just run the same both like sometimes running with the uh, spikes on grass is beneficial okay. but I just always run in the same flat so you don't have to like change, change no, much then? I know some girls on the team some boys like to run in spikes and change it up but I just like to run in the same flats and when we can and we run at Ross Park sometimes for a workout I like to run barefoot in grass but I don't know if they'd go for that in a race <laughs> probably not <laughs> all right cool thank you both for joining us this morning